Well, showing off your best dance moves and helping to find a cure for cancer. You'll have the chance to do both tomorrow. We've got Tamala Reed and Jason Queen here to tell us about the flash mob event that is sweeping San Diego. Good morning and, and Good morning. thank you guys so Good much morning. for coming on today. I love these events. I've never been part of one, but I, I see them on YouTube and I think that is so cool that you're able to gather hundreds of people together, but you guys are hoping for over a thousand tomorrow. Yes, tell us a little bit about how it's all coming together. Well, Rocksteady Ministries is a professional dance company, and we've partnered with Rock Cancer Care tomorrow for this amazing event. We're all meeting at Balboa Park from 12 to 3 for a benefit flash mob uh, dance concert thing. It's going to be amazing. We want everyone to come out because we want to raise awareness and support for families right here in San Diego who are going through suffering. And I think we've all been impacted. I, I personally lost my uncle, my grandmother's cancer, and I've had friends who actually overcome and, and celebrate victory. And so this is something that's very dear to our hearts. So Rocksteady has donated time, choreography. If you've never danced a day in your life or if you've danced every day of your life, this dance is for you. We want you to come out. We want you to learn and, and, and celebrate this life-changing weekend. And so for $20, you're going to get a really cool T-shirt and an opportunity to change someone's life. And all those proceeds are going to go directly to Rock Cancer care to help those families right here. We'll talk about Rock Cancer Care in a minute. It's an amazing organization that you founded because yes. of your journey yes. through battling cancer. Yes. But I've got to say, for the dance part, I mean, you're going to be in good hands. Uh, one of MTV's finest is one of the the head of the dance department, and, and, and you know, you're there with him too. If you don't know any of the moves, it's on YouTube. You can go now, you can click on it and learn some of the moves, and then on the day of, you're going to be in great hands. Well, the website they can go to, it's real easy, is Rocksteady Dance. Com. And they get all the information and learn how to do the routine. Wow, okay. Look at that. That's some of the practice there where folks are ironing out all the rough <laughs> spots. And I imagine there are a couple of rough spots in the very beginning, but there's still spots for people to go, just show up. We're going to have the location up on our uh, screen in just a second, but I know it's in Balboa Park. Yes, yes, ma'am. Balboa Park. All right. Rock Cancer Cure. Uh, it, it, it is an incredible nonprofit foundation. It started out at the Rock Church. It's still there, but it, it just grew and grew and grew. So yes. now, you know, you had to let it expand because so many people needed it. Yes, yes. Um, my name's Tamla Reed, and I'm the founder of Rock Cancer Care. And what we do is we fill in the gaps of cancer care. I had a, a personal experience with cancer. You know, I woke up one day and I had a, a, a huge tumor on my sternum. I was pregnant at the same time, and then I found out that I have multiple myeloma leukemia. So you can imagine I'm going through, you know. I'm going to take care of my family. I have a five-year-old and then the newborn baby and a husband. What am I going to do to get through this? So I'm calling various different organizations, you know, who can help me with tutoring, who can deliver the meals, who can, you know, get me to the appointments when my husband's at work. And I couldn't find, you know, a lot of organizations that did that. So when I went in the hospital for the, I had two bone marrow transplants, that's when Rock Cancer Care grew. It started at the Rock Church as a ministry and then with the hospitals realizing, you know, wow, there's someone giving transportation for our patients who oftentimes take the bus to chemo to, um, to get home um, sometimes you know they don't eat you know correctly when they get home so those are the services that we provide you know we give them transportation we come in we clean their house we do whatever they need as a family to help them get to the other side of cancer the best possible way that they can what I am so struck by too is you know if folks are taking the bus or driving themselves yeah. how amazing would it feel for someone to check in with you right before and right after how was your treatment today, just that emotional support yes. of having that other person there. Yes, we oftentimes have people that just want us to sit with them at their chemo appointment. Chemo is very scary. You're sick. I've been through it. And it's nothing worse than sitting there alone. So we, we also do that and visit the hospital and, and do whatever we can just to be a support to the people who are suffering. Oh, this is amazing. All right, Rock the House is also something that's going on with you all in mind. And that's going to be not this Saturday, but the following Saturday at the Ronald McDonald House. Tell us how this kind of fits into the big picture. Well, we participated in this event before, but I really like her to talk about it. Well, the Rock the House is helping those children in the Ronald McDonald House. A lot of them are away from home. We're focusing on the siblings. The siblings sometimes when, you know, kids have cancer, the parents are focused on, you know, the child that's sick, and then the other siblings are kind of left behind. So we're going to do their nails for the little girls. We have wee boxes. They're going to get their hair done. We're going to have, you know, um, ponies there. It's just a day that you can come and be blessed and not have to worry about the kids cancer or the disease and just have fun. All right, I'm going to think Jason's going to come along do a little dancing because, man, I, I know that he was there in the back of the video and he was breaking it down. <laughs> Flash mob.
about performance. It's going to be tomorrow, this Saturday, at the Oregon Pavilion in Balboa Park. It's incredible. You go, you get a cool t-shirt, you're going to meet some new friends, you're going to learn some awesome dance moves from some MTV professionals, and you're going to help Rock Cancer Care do some amazing things right here in our local community. Last word about the event this Saturday to get people just to, to come on down. Uh, we're flying an artist out from Atlanta. Um, you have to come out to find out who that's going to be. But this is, look, if you, again, if you've never danced before, this is an opportunity for you to get your groove on and just have a great time gathering with over a thousand people having a great time on Saturday. Snoop Dogg, is that it? I'm not telling you. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we've got donuts in house, and I will bribe you. Okay. I will. All right. Thank you so much, Tamil and Jason, for coming on today. And again, it's this Saturday. If you've never danced, you can go learn the moves on YouTube right now. Thank you guys so much. Good to have you on.